Yeah, I can see that you've already started answering questions in the sure. chat, but maybe you would like to share something just loud because we have a few minutes, so okay. no worries. <clears throat> I mean, the strategy, so the first one was about the strategy, right? How strategic is CC for NVIDIA? I mean, it's always difficult to answer things like that, right? You know, how strategic is anything, right? But we're investing time. Um, you know, I see confidential computing on the roadmap. As far as I have visibility into, we are investing time in with partners. I think that's probably the true indication that something is strategic is when it's not just you anymore working on something, but you've gotten partners to kind of believe in your message. So we have uh, Azure um, with a, uh, a confidential computing solution that's in private preview. We have GCP in private preview. So that's, uh, I think, an indication that the, there is something in the market for confidential computing um, and that people want to see. And then the other thing I would add is, is <clears throat> at the CC Summit last week, large language models. I mean, people could not stop talking about large language models and confidential computing. So I think that is really what's going to drive a lot of that. Um, but it also shows how important, uh, important solutions like Web3 are because it is about privacy of data. Yeah, and about the vendors, I believe there was a question. Uh, vendors. So, yeah. um, uh, so the CPUs are what start the the TE. And so that's where kind of like the, a lot of the confidential computing uh, origin is. We are extending it to include the GPU. So we rely on the CPU to have initialized the environment. Uh, AMD has a solution with their SEV, or they call it Infinity Guard Technologies. Um, and then Intel similarly has a solution with TDX. ARM has Realms, which is coming um, uh, as far as far uh, uh, we want to include in a solution with NVIDIA. Um, so I think the CPU technologies uh, are there um, and the NVIDIA is the first GPU uh, to uh, join in. Uh, I, I, I can't uh, speak to other GPU vendors. Yeah, and there was one more. What do you think the process are for the yeah. technology overall? Um, well, as I said, I think eventually it'll just be computing. I mean, it will be simply, this is how you get a virtual machine and the performance will be free, if you will, right? They will push down, <clears throat> we will push down the computational challenges uh, into the hardware so that there isn't any performance challenge. And you, when you get a, uh, a virtual machine, it simply will be confidential and that will be the new normal. Why would you not? Yeah, and getting back, thanks a lot. Yeah, getting back to the question that uh, uh, we asked Nukri. As I remember why we do it. First of all, my let's say it comes from my uh, previous projects. Uh, we resolved uh, many you know, issues of collaboration between companies and ecosystems using confidential computing. And today I have a dream to make uh, AI-based economy. Uh, to make uh, possible for each human to make himself more valuable in our ecosystem, in our so society. And of course, this is a data. It's always based on digital uh, participation. It was always, uh, it is always based on uh, using of common digital assets, but same time to prevent leakages, to prevent cannibalization of each other. And uh, I believe in, uh, in in this open marketplace, of course, based on confidential computing uh, technology. And I believe uh, this model of collaboration will be, will be basic for any AI society today. Yeah. I think, um, sorry, ah, sorry. just to sorry, piggyback sorry. off of that. I think one of the things <clears throat> that I'm encouraged by confidential computing is the ability to work together in a trusted mechanism. I mean, you know, speaking to, you know, society as a whole, right? You know, we want interactions, we have data, uh, but I want it to work safely. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, I believe that was the question about why, why, why Super Protocol is doing all of this. What do you aim to achieve? We also have a question. What does Web3 mean in case of Super Protocol? Another nice question. Uh, confidential computing um, guarantees privacy of model and data in use. But at the same time, problem is uh, that we have system uh, in, in centralized, let's say, clouds. You have system administrator who is managing your cloud service, right? and who has um, who can manage it of course you can't prevent it 
But at the same time, we use web-free compliant ecosystem. We use blockchain where you can program all processes behind of your, let's say, front end, behind your, of your business model, uh, fully managed, governed by smart contracts. It's, it's a trustless architecture. Using super protocol, only you managing this whole vertical of applications, smart contracts, uh, data, models, uh, everything is uh, it's like your crypto wallet, let's say. You're managing whole vertical of your digital assets. And I believe Web3 world should be developed in, in, in this paradigm. Thank you. Great. Great. Thanks so much. This was an insightful session.